It means two things, okay? It means choosing and it means sticking to the choice. I mean, I've, I have now been coerced by age and embarrassment into exercising regularly. So I get up and I, go, I leave at 6.15 in the morning and I go swim at least four days a week. Which means about 5.45 every morning I have this choice. And you just got to work through this. No, it means, it means that you're being flexible when you do this. Remember, I do it constantly. I do it hourly, I do it daily, I do it weekly. I, I go through this sequence four or five times a day. How much time does it take to do that? To do which part? Four or five. I mean, how much time is that actually detracting away from your schedule? Minutes. Okay. You learn, I mean, you've done it 25 years, you learn to do it very fast. I try to do that, it took me an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, but, but you'll, you'll learn. I mean, this goes back to the point about climbing the ladder. I mean, Right now it takes you an hour and a half, then it'll take you an hour, then it'll take you a half hour, and you'll gradually get, you'll get the habit. And then you'll begin to know, oh yeah, if I say, I, want any, I mean right now I have my schedule for all of next week. I'll, on the plane back today, I'll look through all of next week, and I'll figure out what I want to kill, what I, what I, how I want to use the meetings I have to be in. And, what, and, and if I only have time for three meetings I get to call, they better be the right three. So it requires me to think through what I'm doing. There's a lot of fun. I mean, I mean, but, but look, this can be, I want to go to the zoo. I mean, it doesn't, this is not just work. You got to decide what's fun. I mean, I have to tell you, I mean, sitting behind the president of the State of the Union is okay. <laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, getting, I mean, the other part of it is, if you decide, and this is, this, you, you, you put your finger on a really good point. If you decide you want to do something, you ought to relax and enjoy it. I decided I'd be an important person. When you're an important person, people love to get their pictures made with you. You, you might, you know, the other night we, we, got, we passed the Constitutional Amendment, we got to the dinner late, we spoke to 2,000 people, there were 150 people who had not gotten their picture made with me because they were supposed to get it made before the dinner, but we were passing the Constitutional Amendment, which we thought took precedence. And at 10, 15 at night, having, 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 for the third night in a row, because we had the State of the Union, and we had the Washington Press Club Foundation, and now we're doing this. At 10.30 night, I was standing there, getting my picture made with 100, 140 times. And somebody said, boy, that was really nice of you. No. It's the business I'm in. I mean, if you're a dry cleaner, and you've got to keep the dry cleaner open, because it's the prom night, and folks are coming by to get their suit, you keep it open. If you're not going to take care of the customers, why should the customers take care of you? Now, if you don't want to be in that business, go get in the business you like. You'll see... Uh, You'll see, I, I can't remember now when we use it, the, the, uh, the segment, I think it's on in, in, in third wave, we to, the segment by the guy who founded Steak and Ale, where he talks about the number one advice he gives to people. Find something you want to do. Because if you want to do it, you'll do it. When I, people say to me, how do you get kids to read? I say, find out what they're interested in and let them read what they want to read. My mother-in-law just did that, so she has a nephew who wants to be a drummer, so he's now reading biographies of drummers. He's so excited he can't stand it. Now, you'd never get a normal school class to say that's an acceptable topic. But he'll read like crazy if he gets to read about what he wants to read about. And so I come back to you and say, if you find out when you go through this and this, you're miserable, rethink this. Why are you doing it? So I didn't, that's why I didn't become a lawyer. I, I knew enough lawyers. And I don't mean that disparagingly, but when I was younger, I assumed because I wanted to go into politics, I'd probably be a lawyer. And I, I watch people who are good lawyers. I didn't want to do what they did. I didn't want to think the way they thought. And I liked history, so I became a historian. I did history because I like history, because I think it's useful, because it's fun, it's interesting. It's like reading novels. To me, reading a good history book is like reading a mystery. I'm always curious what's going to happen next. And it's just a different way of thinking about things. But my point is, if you're not happy doing this, erase it and start over. And, and that's where part of it, there's also a difference between being satisfied and having fun. I'm too tired to be having fun. <laughs> but I'm very satisfied. <coughs> and again, I think that's an adult thing. I mean, if you watch somebody, if you watch a grandmother who has the whole extended family come home for Christmas, my mother-in-law does this. And she cooks and she fixes and she feeds everybody. It isn't fun, but it is enormous satisfaction. And I think sometimes we're too juvenile. We, we use the word fun when we really want, when, when we ought to use a more adult word. 
You know, are you satisfied with the way you're spending your life? If you're not, then stop and rethink column B. But don't complain about it. Don't whine. It's your life. Change it. Now, the second big thing is focus on outward contributions. Effective executives do not focus inward. Anytime I run into somebody and I say, how are you doing? And they start by telling me how they feel, I worry. They tell me, wow, I got this great project. I'm doing these neat things. We have these good, you know, something good is happening. If, it, if, it's, if they're focused on contributing, here's what I'm achieving. Got a great, I'm writing a script, or I've got a great movie underway, or, you know, or I baked a good cake today, we're having a bunch of folks over. Anything which is outward. Effective executives focus outward. They don't focus inward. This is, by the way, the opposite of the way bureaucracies function. 